Hi, welcome to my Arch Merch system. So we have, um, we're filming actually with, uh, well, it's this one, Arch Merch that's going to be released, 6.2.1. And uh, I'm filming this in a dual screen mode, so I hope uh, the 4K guys will see all the details and the others, well, less detail. There is, of course, another tutorial available in, with just one screen so I can read and see everything what I do. But just check out what happens here when I press some elements, when I, when I run some, some scripts here, then you see that we have colors, right? A single window. But when you hover over it, it's not transparent anymore. So normally the settings in i3, the standard content.conf, because that's where it is, you get transparency when not active. So what did I do? You can change it too. It's also, like I said, it's in another tutorial. This is just an experiment to show you guys what it actually is here on my system with two dual screens. That's the best way to experience i3. I start my Atom, which is the one I like to work with these days. And you go to your hidden folder dot config slash i3 compton comp and then let's go over the settings I've changed that are normally not set that way. So shadow, I keep my shadow on. I like my shadows, that's okay. But I changed menu opacity to one, inactive opacity to one. So two changes there. Fading false third change. And that's it. That's it. All you have to do now is log off, log on, and then the content conf will be reloaded and you will have no effects and all that. These three settings will take effect and you'll have a different kind of i3. It's that easy. It's that much fun. I can only recommend i3. We have lots of tutorials about it. I fell in love with it years ago. Maybe I can convince you to take it up as well. Cheers.